So, I'm running this overnight. It's a watt cycle 12 volt, 280 amp hour battery, 3,584 watt hours. And I'm running this 12,000 BTU mini split. I haven't set it 82 degrees, but it's uh, kicking out. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's like 69 degree air, even though it's set at 82. So my battery's at 13.1, it's 312 watts. 120 volt output there you go 13.1 and the charge controller is still showing that the battery is at 100 percent i've been running this for about two hours and so we got solar coming in on that but it's um not uh it's uh 7 30 so the sun's pretty much down it's not getting any more solar and now it's showing 99 percent battery so, 13.1 volts, 314 watts. If it continues to run like that, I have this um, rigid fan on here blowing on this to cool it off to make it more efficient. It's a 18 volt battery, so it's not going to really... I can charge that tomorrow during the solar when the solar panels are going. And then I have another one. Uh, a Ryobi 18 volt over here. This is a six amp hour battery and that's blowing the air over there to kind of cool it and It's very comfortable in a garage right now Usually I don't run an air conditioner, but I wanted to connect that and I've got two 250 watt Poly panels used I paid like 20 bucks for them and I'm running this mini split during the day completely off of those two solar panels and then right now I'm going to run this overnight in the garage. And this is a uh, three-car tandem garage. I don't mean to make you dizzy there. <laughs> but we're going to see what it does in the morning. We're at 13.1 volts, 314 watts, and it's 730. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a blessed day. See you in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell.